Hey guys, it's Davey from Diddy Drums. Welcome to this lesson on four must-learn linear fills for drummers. Now I'm going to tell you these fills are going to get you sound great on the drums, okay? I promise you that. Because a lot of the times, you know, you, as drummers, you can get stuck in particular patterns that you, know, you do the same old things. But with linear patterns, with linear ideas, you can get a lot more creative. And I know YouTube has a lot of that, but we're going to really dig into some ideas that I promise you are going to help you sound great. All right, so let's get right into it. Now, before we do, make sure you grab the, this page here. It's, it's in the description section below. It's got all the information, all the fills we're doing in today's lesson. It's going to be really helpful for your practice. So definitely check that out. All right, let's get into the, the first idea. Now, the first idea is using a group of three, four times, okay? So we're going right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left on the snare drum. So if I show you that really slowly. Right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left. If you haven't already noticed, what we're doing is a group of 16, okay? All up, there's 16 notes. We've got three plus three plus three plus three, and then plus four, using the snare is going to give us the, the 16 beats. With this pattern, definitely practice the group of three just over and over so that... So that becomes a normal part of your drumming vocabulary. And if you haven't already checked out the, the, the video I've done on eight must-learn linear patterns for drummers, check that out because that goes into exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you want to kind of practice the, the groupings get to know them really well, and then you can start to use the groupings and fills. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to give you two demos on this one. It's going to be at 80 beats per minute, and then the next, I'm going to show you 120, and I'm going to you know, bounce between a beat as well so you can check that out. Here we go, guys. And, you know, we could go faster, but we're going to move on to the next fill, okay? Fill number two. And fill number two is, once again, using groupings, okay? Basically, we're going a group of four, another group of four, then we're doing a group of six, and then two extra notes at the end, okay? And that's going to give us our 16 beats. So the first two is going to be on the snare, right, left, then kick, kick. Then we're going tom, tom, right, left, kick, kick. Then we're going floor, tom. Right, left, right, left, kick, kick. And then we're going two on the snare. This is how it sounds really slowly. Okay, there you go, that's the pattern. Now, four, a group of four, a group of six, and then two on the end. Okay, I'm gonna show you two examples. 80, then 120. Here we go. Fill number three is doing a group of four and then two groups of six. So the first group of four is going right, left, kick, kick using the snare and then you're going right, left, right, left, kick, kick on tom one and then we're going 
right, left, right, left, right kick using the floor tom. Here's how it sounds really slowly. A group of four, a group of six, a group of six. And there you go, that's the two different tempos, 80, 120. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, when I first started practicing these ideas, I was starting off at about 40 beats per minute, you know, 50 and 60 and then 70, I was scaling up and then you know, eventually started to hit the faster tempos. But I found that to kind of get the, the smoothness and the comfortable feeling in playing the patterns, I really had to start off with the really slow tempos. And all right, let's move on to field number four. And okay, ooh, this is the trickiest one of all because you've got a group of five and then a group of three and then another group of five and then a group of three. Now the first group of five is gonna go right, left, left, kick, kick on the snare. And you'll notice that on the sheet music that if it's got an accent symbol, you're gonna play that louder. If the note is in brackets, that means you're gonna play it as a ghost note, all right? So just watch out for that in this particular fill. So going, the group, group, first group of five is gonna go right, left, left, kick, kick. Then the second grouping, which is a group of three, is gonna go right, left, kick. That's the tom, snare, kick. And then we're going another group of five, but this one's gonna go snare, tom, floor tom, kick, kick, like this. So that's that group of five, and then you've got a group of three to finish off, which is gonna go floor tom, snare, kick. All right, let's put it all together nice and slowly. All right, that's the pattern there, one more time. Now this is the most tricky one out of the lot, but I'm probably gonna say this is the coolest sounding as well, just cause the, the different sound in the group of five and three put together. And also you've got some ghost notes in there, which gives you some dynamic range. So let's try this one, two different tempos, 80, then 120, here we go. Oh, and that one's a little bit tricky. That one's probably gonna take the most practice just because it's more challenging. But if you haven't already, definitely download the, the sheet music for this lesson because it's gonna help a lot to see the music in front of you. Guys, if you got some value from this lesson, please hit the like button, subscribe for more lessons like this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson, guys. Have a great day. Thanks.